you not to come fuck up all my shit that I got going on over here just because you find all of this appealing. <laughs> Go ahead now, do that trick. Go ahead. What's up, guys? It's time for the Homos Talk Show. You know what I like it when you fuck it. Uh. And we also got special guest co host Courtney in the building. You know. You know. I ain't never, ever, ever met a bitch like this before. Who can bring it up, bring it down, and bring it down? Down, so stay tuned, cause it's time to make, to make moves. Bitch, stay on go. She- what the fuck it do, people? It's your boy CJ, and it's Homo Talk Show on Verse TV. Make sure to like, subscribe, and give us a big ass thumbs up. Okay, okay, now that you toned in, let's get this shit started. So I have the homos I stay in love. Um, can moving in together help us reach a lifetime of marital bliss even faster? Why and why not? Um, for me, I think moving in can create special bonds, but it it can also tear everything apart. Like I've had best friends that we become roommates and I find out how nasty they are or you know, how they always broke or like you start finding out personal stuff when you let people in your personal space, which I think is good for a relationship, but then after that you find out this individual pees all over the seat or, you know, so it gives you opportunity to work on things, but it also gives you an opportunity to not lose a lot of love for them because you you realize a lot of things that you didn't before so yeah i mean it's good and it's bad what about what you think courtney i um, got a lot to say because first of all <laughs> me first I, I, i'm just not gonna let nobody just move in just because we're in a relationship because any time that you meet another person, a person always send their interview person for, um, to, to meet the, the individual. I need to go to see what is your habitat that you stay in, what you live in. Well, what do you do? Because you're not going to come fuck up all my shit that I got going on over here just because you find all of this appealing. <laughs> go ahead now. Do that trick. Go ahead. <laughs> Because, like, if you nasty at home, that means that you're going to bring your nasty shit over over to my house. If you don't mm. clean up your room or your house, that means that, yeah, we, we ain't got nothing. No, we, we can't do nothing. I don't need nobody that's, that's going to hinder me from what, I, what I'm doing already. Especially if you ain't got no job. What the fuck? What? I got to go. I got I to gotta put on the pants and the dress every day? While you sit at home Ooh. and look at Ooh. what reruns a good time and stuff? No. We're not doing that. I hear yeah. that. I, because like, I, if, if I'm going to work <laughs> and I, I, I'm maintaining a house, car, all this kind of stuff, you think just because you're giving us some dick or ass, that's going to solidify the relationship? No. 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 Just not. Not going to Got to do a little more. Got to do a little more. No. Bring not not, not a little. A lot. Come on, talk to him. Let him know. <laughs> Listen, I, I just feel like it ultimately depends on. No, go on, say, go on, say what? Uh, Cause you, you, you down for anything as long as you in love. Go ahead and say it, Troy. Let me finish. It depends on the two people in the situation because I've been in situations where I've been in relationships when we moved in pretty fast, and, it, and it's lasted years. But if one individual isn't confident who they are as a person and know themselves then they'll be living like Courtney said and just living all crazy they shit is all over the place and next thing you know they're gonna come to you living what you do in the craziness no you gotta pay attention and observe to see what's going on but ultimately if you're mature enough to do that it takes maturity to live with somebody else and give up some of the things you like to do and you know you don't like certain things and you gotta you know compromise and so it can happen it can be great and then no one sooner than later is best because if you've dated somebody for three years and you move into them three and a half after three and a half years and then two months into the three and a half years you're like what the hell did I get myself into that's kind of crazy because you're wasting all your time and all these years trying to figure it out
Well, the person I always tell you exactly who they are when you first meet them. It, it, it don't take uh, months or years. They, a person always show you exactly who they are. It's up to the individual if you're going to ignore it or you're going to look past it. When someone shows you who they really are, believe them. Huh? Basically, when someone shows you who they really are, believe them. Uh, yeah, yes, come on, my are... Angelo. Yes, believe them. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That was a good one. You ready? What are you thinking? At the end of the day, close it out on this beautiful topic. What do you have to say? I mean, I mean, shoot. I mean, you already know how I feel. Um, like, I just, I just need you know you to bring what I need you to bring to the table. Like, like I've been saying every episode, you need the help in that fucking house. You need, uh, like, I. I can understand if you don't have your own place or whatever, but if I see that you've been saving money towards this, like, you can't be like, oh, I'm, you know, I ain't got my own place, but I don't see anything that you've been working towards getting your own place. Like, I don't mind letting you move in, but I need to know that. Boo, stop. Uh, <laughs> but but I, 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 I need to know that I have somebody that I can do teamwork with. Somebody who's going to contribute to the house. And, you know, it's going to be here. Like, you're going to take, like, so if you're going to be here, you're going to take out the trash. That's something I don't need to do anymore. Or whatever. Like, you just need to take that. I just hope it doesn't agree. <laughs> Because before you came, I was taking the trash out. Bitch, I need you to get up and get a damn job. Well, yeah, I said, like, help out with bills and all of that, but I'm no, saying. No, not bro. help out, bitch. I need you to pay the bills. Take, you can take and one from the from the mortgage, the car, no, not, not no, pay one of, one of, one of all. For one of not all, you're saying. Right, if we're in a relationship. Well, I'm saying go half on everything. Well, no, I, I need somebody to at least take t- 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 one of them off my hand. I don't need it because it's... Uh, it, no. <laughs> and don't, don't be the cheapest one. Start from the highest. Uh, we going with that? No, don't say the water bill but $24, so I got you. No, no, don't worry about that. I'm going to get a whole year then pay it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I hear what both of you are saying. I, I don't disagree. I just feel like, again, it depends on the two people in the situation. I mean, maturity level is different. you got to compromise on a whole different level. You just got to be ready for that. And some people just ain't ready for that. Some people need to live by themselves forever. Um, oh, I want to compromise. compromise. You need to. You have to compromise with a relationship. In certain, in certain situations, yes, you would compromise. Now when it comes to living, you don't have to if you don't want to. But I'm saying if you do, it is a compromise. You can't be married to somebody living in two different houses. That's kind of crazy. People do that, but that's so weird. Like, I don't understand how you can trust your husband and wife to sleep in the hole in the bed by themselves in the home of the house. You know what I'm saying? But y'all supposed to be together? Like, I don't know. Um, uh, but if y'all get married, then the things, are, the things change. But if you're not married, then you're like, oh, okay, I need you to go on the home. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> You know, well, I feel y'all doing too much. I can't watch y'all. Y'all better let you know, better, you know, come on, hope, get that man together if you need to get that partner together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to be getting each other together because sometimes we need things that we need to work on, and sometimes other person help us complete those things. You know, but anyway, that's another topic, another day, another situation. That was, what's it called, Yuri? Homos in love. No, homos, I stay in love. Homos, I stay in love. Really, that should have been your topic because um, you the only one who be staying in love on this show and be letting I just, people molly walk you and all. No, 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 we don't do that. <laughs> I just, I, no, 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 we don't do that. I just like love. Like, I like being in love and I feel like it's important to believe in true love. That, you know, now don't give up hope with a lot of people out here telling us not the honest because they, they don't believe in love. You know what I'm saying? And like, love it does exist. It's still there. Um, and that's what I'm. All, that's what I'm always preaching. But um, you can move on to the next topic. Yes, you know. on to better news. Um, we have the homo <laughs> private parts talk. So why are some homo sexuals uncomfortable <laughs> with detailed talk about opposite gender private parts? <laughs> Ah. Look at my chain. Look at my wrist. Look at my shoes. Can afford this shit. Look at my smile. Look at my swag. Look at the bag. I'm something you wish you had. Cause I'm next.